Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Dr. Gomati. In this video, we are going to see the complete learning path for Power Automate. So we'll be covering what is Power Automate, what are the prerequisites for this, and what is the learning path, and what are the sources we have to learn Power, Auto Power Automate. So let us understand a Power Automate. Power Automate is a service provided to us by Microsoft, which is basically used to help uh, to create an automated workflows. Okay, so in, if you have any boring stuff, if you are doing it repeatedly in your business, then you can definitely automate it with Power Automate. So a simple example, okay. I'll just tell you with a simple example that if someone, a new joinee is joining, whenever a new joiners, okay, join your company, okay, their name, whenever the name is added in the database, okay, if their name is added in the database, then automatically, a trigger should happen that is an automatic mail should go to everyone that a new employee has joined or else a welcome mail should be triggered whenever a new employee has joined okay because a HR being a HR you cannot go and uh, uh, type a mail every time whenever the new a new employee joined your organization right so this is a very simple example <laughs> and you can also create an approval workflows so if you want to do if a new uh, order is placed then automatically an approval uh, uh, mail should be sent to your manager two level of approval five level of approval so multiple levels of approval can be happened with a microsoft power automate so that is the purpose of power automate here so basically it will be either connected with um, power apps okay or power bi something okay some other external applications which are built built by power microsoft okay and so this is also a part of technology in a Microsoft Power Platform. And so what are the prerequisites? So the basic requisites is what you should have a company domain mail ID. So which means that uh, basically you will be having what uh, you will be having a <clears throat> uh, uh, personal mail ID, right? So personal mail ID usually ends with at the rate gmail.com or at the rate uh, outlook.com so something which ends with uh, the uh, organization so this is not your own your working organization okay this is something which is a public domain okay your name uh, at the rate um, gmail your name at the rate something but if you wanted to use automate or something or power apps you have to use your school domain or a college domain organization domain so organization in the sense at the rate your company name.com should be what at the rate your company name or at the rate your college name if you are a school school or a college student then it should be at the rate your school dot com so this domain will be provided to you by your school or a college or organization wherever you are working this is what we'll call it as a uh, organization email id okay so that is what the prerequisites for this <clears throat> so you should have this okay and the next one is what the learning path so we will just discuss about the learning path now so what is uh, what are the level wise learning path for power automate so if you take beginner level then you should understand what is power automate introduction to power automate and how the power automate actually looks like okay that is a studio that is what we call it as a power automate studio what are the components over there uh, from where you have to get everything how to access everything so all these things you have to understand power automate studio data connections what are the various data connections you have <clears throat> okay basic power automate workflow deploying and sharing the power automate so this is the first level and in the intermediate level you can see business logic and workflow customizing and branding advanced power automate formulas you have some formulas in that integrating with the other microsoft products deploying and sharing to the multiple environment if you take the advanced level advanced microsoft features custom connectors integrating with api complex workflows and final project you have to build it okay and so these are all the generic topic which i have given because you know the application of a power automate varies based on the business to business so you have to decide based on what you are going to learn but this is a, that is why i have given a very generic uh, name for all these things <clears throat> okay i haven't mentioned what are the advanced power automate formulas you have to learn because the advanced power automate formulas there are in a variety of formulas various formulas we have so you need to uh, you can apply based on your expectations okay so 
you can learn this power automate from this particular website which is a microsoft website they have given a specific learning path to know about uh, automate okay you can see here you have 19 learning paths okay St automate a business using power automate automate administrative task automate process by reporting get um, uh, started with power automate desktop you have various options here you have to decide uh, what are the things which you want and learn it okay so you can see you can just click here and see what to read what to understand so get started with power automate this is what my first topic okay introduction to power automate what is the flow what is recurring flow everything build approval flows how you can build an approval flow flow so this everything i have given here okay you can learn it that will be a um, this is what the module okay sorry this is what the learning path you will be having a learning path okay and in the learning path you can see how many hours you will take to learn complete it so you will take nearly four hours 52 minutes to complete one learning model this particular learning path learning path so in this learning path you have um seven modules okay so you can see this is the seven modules you have and in that seven modules you your modules every module has its own units okay module has its own units okay how many hours it will take for you to complete that units so you have eight units which will take 51 minutes to complete this particular module okay all these things are given to you this is a approximate uh, estimation okay if you may take uh, a, you, your time may be extended or your time may be uh, very you may take very less time to complete this module it's all about you and uh, many modules very many units may contain like uh, exercises okay you have to do these exercises in order to make familiar get familiar with the power automate okay so i'll also upload i'll also update this in my blog power automate uh, workflow i have updated about power apps workflow you can find it here i'll also update about the power automate workflow here you can find it please follow my blog so that you will uh, you can see the every topic the learning path the tutorials whatever i have i can just upload it here so hope you find this video useful so i'll be uh, discussing about power virtual agent learning path as well in my next video power pages everything so i'm planning to uh, publish many learning paths so if you have any technology in your mind if you wanted to learn it if you want to know about that lear uh, learning path please let me know comment it so that i can help you out thank you take care bye bye